Hello, everyone. Pretty sure we're live across all platforms. Uh, I do need to pop out a YouTube chat real quick. Uh, that being said, I had to kind of emergency get up from last stream. And um, we were in the middle of a boss fight in Avorion. Oh, I was try harding. So hopefully I can keep that up. Oh, come on, Twitch YouTube chat. Stop going to my other monitor. There we go. All chats, events going on over there. We've got restream over here. Everything's looking great. We don't look frozen. Things are looking good. Shrink myself down a little bit. Again, I paused it just mid boss fight. I think I was trying to work on some of the ads. Because I don't know if they hang around after he dies. But I mean, if he's my only target right now, we will just pop some more rounds off at him. Stop that shield from regenerating. Down to 45%. A good start. Uh, you're at 34. Let's cut across here. Why did my thing go black? Put a whole bunch of rounds off at you. We're hitting them. Guess I should stay on target. These guys are a little beefier than the normal ad. Make sure there's enough damage in the air to finish them off. You keep tricking me. I keep thinking you're dead. I see you regenerating HP over there. Keep those shields down, please and thank you. Oh, I didn't put enough in there to get his shields all the way down. Oh, we let the boss close with us. Nope, big old bag of nope sticks. Fucking around with ads. Get myself in trouble with the boss itself. Found you a little bit there, buddy. That was a lot of rockets. Retarget you. Just gotta keep that shield down. Boss might get a few pop shots at me here. I'm hoping to finish off that ad. Pop goes the weasel. Uh, I want to get within 20 kilometers. We can start the Hoover process because we have a loot mod that increases loot range from like a millimeter to a whole whopping 20 kilometers, which is absolutely amazing. I stopped shooting at him. He actually got quite a bit of shields up. Full barrage at you. I don't think he's repairing though, so that's good. Oh, well, thank you. Finish you. Urgh, hard break. Oh, picked up some of it. Gonna hard break straight into the loot, take a few shots, but hopefully pick everything up. What the fuck? Things we don't need is a tutorial pop up right now. Another one bites the dust. All right, way out of range.
We'll send all that rockets. Should be enough to kill you. The boss man's gonna get some hits on me again here. Kinda wish your shield wasn't already back up to half, but it's kinda easy to work through your shields. I think he's slowly repairing hull too. Yeah, he's back up to 50% hull. Screw you, buddy. Oh, we were going way too fast. Slow it down. Burn, 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 full burn. Run the nitrous. think we're gonna have the heat capacity on the rock launchers to finish the second one. Oh shit, let the boss get too close again. Not doing too good at that. Only one left, but all launchers are overheated. careful about my energy expenditure if I go dead in the water I could easily die here this fight is not guaranteed a victory for me okay all ads are dead Me and the big man. Shh. Me and the big man and all of the loot. I think I'm gonna have to do a really close pass by him secure all this loot. Oh, I didn't grab it, son of a bitch. I slow down long enough to pick it up. Without him killing me. He's a key in. okay. All loot is secure. Now I just need to keep him at range and spend like an hour whittling him down to nothingness. All weapons overheated, Captain. Valid. Uh, boost a little bit. It's getting a little close. Give him the business again. I managed to keep him at about 50%. He slowed way down. What's what's your deal, buddy? You flipping on me? You still coming? Oh, he's certainly still coming. For a second there, I thought reinforcements I just jumped in, but it was literally just um... 
the behemoth moving. You're traveling away from me? I run you out of leech range now that I don't have your little ads to use as markers. Come back here. Are you upside down, bro? I'm actually starting to rip some holes into you. Can't tell if we're busting holes through them or not. Oh shit, it's way closer than I thought. Full speed! I'm 38.5. I did not want this fight. I kind of just jumped into him. Wasn't my intention to be here. So we're just seeing if I could do it. And the worst that happens is I die and lose everything because this is insane difficulty. I think I have enough money and stuff to rebuild this ship, which is fine. But like everything on this ship is gone. All my weapons, all my stuff, all gone. Am I still closing? Just kind of rotate around, try and keep him within his leash range. About to crap the cap the thirty point. really far away yeah we were near the leash range I was right had a feeling of that low 30 oh we're gonna take some hits instead of running parallel I'd wait an intercept course for some reason Can you commit to me? There we go, he's flipping. Can't catch me, bro. We're just faster. Twenty four. Just riddled him with freaking rounds. Almost at twenty percent. Twenty point one and twenty more percent. Now the milestone has been reached, boss Wolks. What you got? Um, could do without that. Definitely do without ads. Does mean we've been here a little too long, but I could do without ads. I 
question is, do I try and finish him? Then go for ads? It's 18%. I'm pretty sure they're going to close the distance on me before I can kill them. Don't heal. Just die. Oh, I'm still hitting you at 30 away. Am I powering away from you, or are you resetting again? Are you closing with me? I'm on 10%. Now he's full burn away. Exactly at 10%. Don't run to your friends. Be a strong, independent boss smoke. You don't need them. and closing very rapidly son of a bitch I don't want to fight you guys are they shooting at him Gonna hide in the middle of them. I'm completely out of energy. Seven percent. Wasn't enough. No, I don't want to be here. Oh, my HP is melting. No, thank you. You had to get help, Swox. You had to go get help. missiles I can launch many more just need to let him regen HP while I clear up some of this shenanigans who's gonna land got some happy flight time
Well, those definitely landed. I need you to not be this close to me. Thank you. Okay, another one down. Tough guy. Stop launching missiles at me. the missiles to kill him. No, okay. oh, it's regenerating so much HP. Into him. Damn you, a tanky motherfucker. I believe he's almost back at full shields and shit. Okay, another one's dead. We're wearing ourselves completely dry on energy again. Engines have shut off. Not ideal. Might be too far range for them to fly into him. shooting me. It's a hundred percent shields now, jeez Louise. Actually evading my missiles. Ooh, Scott. So much loot just chasing me around space. Missiles in the air should be enough to finish that guy. Guess they won't. Son of a bitch. Hmm. 
We got like 1.4% HP left, but it's just that. Oh, he's back up to 13% HP too, jeez Louise. Still isn't even a guaranteed win for me with him. Like, I could lose. I'm getting very low. He blows off the wrong pieces. That's GG. I'm playing these stupid little Ring Around the Rosie games with all of his f***ing ads. I got 147,000 credits for killing them, so I guess that's better than nothing. The question is, what do I risk for the loot? Shots should be fine. Keyword is should be. No, oh, we have another three percent. He's back up to freaking sixteen hall with fifty nine shield. Come on, buddy, just die. I had that shield penetration around about now. <laughs> Let's keep him at this distance. Get this before the next wave of ads spawn. Oh, I slowed down too much. Shit. Dangerous game of kiting I'm playing with this gentleman. Okay, we're through the shields. Let the weapons cool down just a little. I think he's running away from me. sure what he was doing. Just tricking? Playing possum? Hoping I would flip and give him some. Why are you moving so slow, buddy? It's weird. Okay, 
Okay, we're under 10 again. No ads, please. No ads. Full weapons over here. 7.2. Come on. Shield regen, please and thank you, buddy. Five, four, four weapons over here again. Okay, we're at three again. It's lower than three. I think we got them to 3.9 last time. When ad spawned. Two. Come on, 2.5. Let it happen, buddy. Let it happen. Point one zero exploded. All pirates damage and strength in the galaxy has increased. Well, that's not great. I forgot about that little side effect. Oh, well. Come to me, loots. Oh, that feels good. Dink. Find a mysterious artifact. Okay, we're hurrying. It's GTFO. GTFO. What the fuck? Oh, this is not friendly territory. I am very weak. These things are very powerful. They are shockingly close. This is not friendly space. We are just going to book it. Oh, I don't really want... Urgent delivery of unknown? Sure, let's head there. What's the worst that happens? Catastrophic death? Need energy to regen. I am being actively chased. I want to look at my loot. But I want to do it in a safe place, but I ran to a less safe place. Okay. Let me get away from the warp endpoint. Fly here. Thanks. So we got a plus 40 arm slots, which is amazing. Bought these two. B tier radar booster, radar range plus five, plus five, deep ski range plus five. We're looking at plus four right now, so this would be much bigger.
It's all permanent, really. Yes, please. What do we get for turrets? Got a fierce repair laser, because that's what we want in this world. Another fierce repair laser. Long range double purifying mining laser. Doesn't really help me. Rod DPS of 213, EDPS 72. Some sort of weird turret with 10k range. 400% damage to shields, 100% damage to technical blocks, plus 51 damage. Consecutive shots, 4, has a long cooldown. Four times six hundred physical slot size one point three takes three slots total. Flawless double rocket launcher, no thank you. I should upgrade my point defenses. Another multiple projectile guided one slot. Ooh, it's an SRLM. It's only freaking, it's very short range. Same with you. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't know what synchronized weapons does. How much more damage to shield hull, more damage to fighters and torpedoes. Is this a defensive weapon? Weird that it takes four effing slots. Also effing huge. Interesting. Very, very interesting. That's a big gun. Huh. Got room for it, why not? You auto it. Back on the missing blocks. Make sure we have enough gunners. Fire target. Okay. I don't know what this is. I'm sure it's a bad idea to go here.
strange device. The Hermit mission updated. Okay. Why am I here? Urgent delivery of unknown origin. There's nobody here. Just running away. Just zero cost for building tech level three. What? Is he fuck? You make no sense, you weirdo. Ugh. Up over shoot. Nice and slow. Nickelodeon. Watch like a YouTube documentary with my wife about Nickelodeon now. I have like weirdly old kid songs stuck in my head from Nickelodeon. What? Doesn't say I need ore to buy this thing. It'll be that way. Like, what the fuck? I'm so confused. Um, I just want to open their journal. There's player menu. Oh, I'm body armor. Why am I here? What's in range of me? You. Sure. Just commit to another location with low HP. What's the worst that could happen? Just send it. Yeet. Uh... Erect station. sit here for like an hour pulling this trigger and still do nothingness to this thing. Uh, no claimables usually in these. Spreading damage all over the station. <laughs> oh, in a ridiculous manner. Um, 
Um, is there anything worthwhile to salvage here is the question. Usually the answer is a yes, but it's also usually a yes with a caveat of like 16 gajillion HP. This isn't happening without like 1600 salvaging lasers. Cool story though. Come about. Engage. Calculating still. Touche game. Touche. Send it. Who was closest to me and where? Down here? Thank you. Feel free to shoot. Ooh, tough. I guess all pirates did get upgraded. I should probably be very careful. What is this fight? It's just pirates on pirates? Pretty sure I'm next. On their eating list. Did you ever take a fair fight? Nope, not on insane difficulty. to run away or you do son of a bitch damn you one tough motherfucker Artillery again. You know you want to hit them occasionally. Damn, you're tougher than the other guy. <laughs> dink, 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 dink. Come on, big cannon hits, no cannon hits. That's why guided artillery fills are OP. Insanely rare, but super OP.
Not sure why, I just have a feeling about this wreck and spitting out loot. But I guess I was completely wrong. Okay. Touche. Softened him up a little bit. Now it's your turn. Oh shit. Alright, I pissed him off enough to have him shoot at me from now on. I guess they're playing the, the enemy of my enemy kind of game. Pissed them both off. Not eat all your rockets to my face. That's why guided rockets are essential because any course change versus these rockets usually just you outrun them like crazy and they're basically useless. have a fury of rockets coming at you, my friend. Just put myself in an orbit around this guy, I guess. Now it's your turn, you tanky SOB. Way out of range. Slow it down. That's why I use weapons that have the same range. Artillery cannon, give them the business. Did you miss? Way to go. Now we're faster. We didn't get the recipe, unfortunately. We are getting nanites, though. With 4,000 of it. We're just in, like, this void. Please be friendly, please be friendly, please be friendly.
They're kind of friendly. It's friendly ish. It's trading post. What's that lag about? Oh, why are you here? Why are you pissed at me? Is it worth me trying to kill you? What? Fuck, why would that pop up happen right then and there? Oh, they hit so hard. They also have a gajillion HP. But they are getting absolutely shrecked by whatever ads just came in. Oh, I need to be really, really careful of my energy usage if I let these guys get close to me. Because we are completely dry on energy, and this guy is closing rapidly. It's fire. Subspace signals are getting stronger, so aliens are about to join this freaking shit show. Guy yeeted out of existence. And everyone jumped out. Cool. Just want to come around and grab the loot, and then I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> Could also do without the pop ups. Hey, buddies, we're friends. It's okay. Did not expect them to get yeeted so hard so fast. Cool. I got like one tapped. That's what I call rapid uh, disassembly. Assembly, then we'll move on. It's 
not nothing. Okay, let's pull up the next jump course. Engage. So if I had the alien tech on my ship, those guys would have been instantaneously hostile to me. The aliens. I can't believe my other ship is still just mining that one system. It's crazy. Um, well, we are claimable. I can just see with my naked eye. Close proximity. Ooh, and there's green ore here. Claim. It's also biotope. Fish, cattle, wood. I mean, that thing is fucking huge. Um, is this a double claimer boy? I don't think so. So asteroid, 300,000, uh, could take the rep. Rep and some money. For salvage, salvage. Mining, you are an iron, you are titanium, you are salvage lasers. Don't know why my XYs are always fucked up. Oh, inventory. I. Or. Auto fire. There's green. Just casually bounce off that towards this green instead. Sure. I don't care. I'm not picky. Green is green, and we need it. Oh, this section needs to get set to auto fire. Oh, why aren't you mining? Cause you're a motherfucking salvaging laser. I am an idiot. There we go.
It'll go and be a minute, but we need it. That's really. Where is the next one? I know there's a second one. And I know it's not too far away from me. I feel like there's one closer than that, but I guess that's the one I'm seeing, so... I knew there was one closer. Please and thank you. How did you know I was new to the area camp? Oh, we're getting there. There's another one 19k this way. You're going to buzz right past this one. Just kind of dizzyingly drift around it until we stop. There's got to be more here, right? Somewhere even far away. Guess there doesn't have to be. Okay, radar pings go out really, really far now. to mark that one. Guess we're headed here. I don't want to talk to you anyways, I guess, traitor. Jump around calculated. Engaging. Or not. It's gonna burn energy. Punch it. We've got trading, 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 trading. Manufacturing... Am I on like the super cusp of the green ore? I don't see any of it here. 
Maybe right on the tip of the edge of it. The line right here. Let's go figure out what this is. Engage. Hey, buddies. Straight at me. See what happens. Guys fighting each other. Some rapid decompression of your ships, please. That'd be great. It's just so many rockets in there. See? Oh, these new ads are gonna be really close to me, aren't they? Guess they're not that close. Eleven K away, getting a hammer. Last guy. Daka -daka. And we got what we were looking for. Maybe. I don't remember where this wormholes take me. I think it's a recall to my home system. Which I don't want. That would reset me ridiculously. So are you guys hiding anything worth a damn in here? A little bit of green rock. Sound like a drug addict. It's also a claimable. Um, there's also still loot over here. Just a gun. Kinda want it, but like not super duper concerned about it. And there's also a massive titanium. Okay. Let's mine this thing out.
Can't be much left to it, damn. Send you here. Pit stop at you. Mining all day long. Pretty sure that gives me access to shield generators, right? Hyperspace cores, shield generators. Um, basics. Heavier than titanium, but it's more durable. With now you gain access to shield generators, unfortunately. Nanite armor tends to break easily and no longer available for purchase. This stuff is good for like engines, energy, that kind of stuff. <sighs> what the fuck was that? Restream just exploded. Okay. Sell for an absorbent amount of money. And come salvage another green rock. Tons of titanium. I, mean, I still need more titanium, but like, meh. We're making do. I'm just not seeing any more green right now. What are we sitting on in cargo holds? 1,600... and 20,000. Not bad. One ping, one ping only. Thank you. Rocket launcher's armed again. Calculating hyperspace. Full charge. Send it. Engage. Ha ha ha. We found ourselves a wormhole. Tag sector. Untag. Here's a wormhole. It's the big question, where do you go to? Whee! Oh. 
you just go significantly deeper. Boy, ain't that a dangerous bag of fucking worms. Good bag of worms, bad bag of worms. I don't know, but things could go horrifically wrong very fast. Yeah, at least you're friendly. Got a repair dock and we have tons of green. Well, lots of green is good. Also, that is a huge titanium. Ditch the scrap iron. I just don't know. I really like to mine that. But I also need as much green as we can get. I need to set up the mining ship with weapons and stuff. Start sending it on mining stuff instead of just the shenanigans it's been doing. Okay, where was huge titanium? So this should easily fill my cargo hold. What else is going on here? Why is laying on a whole lot? Four thousand. So even if I can get like half a point of shield and then add this in, I would over double our HP. I almost triple it. Shields are psycho. Super duper crazy. Just turn on all my XYZ mirror axes. Don't do eyeball armor. Let's 
just like that we have shields. Three online zero four K shields for now. Oh, do I just send a huge cargo hold on this thing? Just slap it on the bottom or whatever? out this whole rock and this whole place. Am my low morale? I swear there's a way to auto pay your freaking crews. Auto pay crews, yes, please. Still not quite close. Not even close. This is the ship I should have as my miner and just send it out. Save design. Switch to minor one. So I'm not going to have enough. Green. It's fine. Just do it without it. Omit it. Thank you. Um.
Why did it blow up all of the turrets? Like, what the fuck? It's fine. It's just a why. Hey, Justin. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you had a good breakfast. Hope you get some in your belly like we all hope. Hope you get some delicious in your belly like we all deserve. That's my good morning saying. <laughs> And I'm glad you did. Ore mining, ore mining, ore mining. Yeah, it's all the ore miners I have. Subsystems, you need a combat control system. No, I haven't gotten to play yet. It's been on my want to play list and want to beat list. I just haven't done it. I have it installed. I just need to like sit down and actually like start a let's play of it. Why, do you think it's good? Should I play through it? Is it worth playing through? Just tag a bunch of artillery pieces on this thing and call it a day. Nothing bad could ever happen doing that, right? Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> well, it seems we're both in the same position then. Okay, this thing's gonna need some crew increases. Move autopilot. Just want to accidentally pop off on this place. Where's your docket? Why am I lagging so bad? What the fudge against? Still at like 70 FPS too, it's just a weird level of lag. Also, apparently when I added this giant cargo hold to the bottom, it just removed any ability to inertial dampen the acceleration of 14 yeah that's terrible higher crew one two three You have to two hundred percent. If I want to send you off to mine, like here, ambush probability is three percent, it goes up to fifteen.
I'm glad. Uh, I've heard it got like nerfed really bad. Like it's not as OP, but I don't even know if that's true. I don't know where it stands, if that makes any sense. Sixty-one percent. Six, thirty-six, forty-one. And I guess sixty-two would be the best it's gonna get. Forty percent chance of being jumped here, though. Um, okay. We need to find a place and just give shields over there. Couldn't tell you what I'd do if I played the DLC. I might. I mean, I really liked my shooting through walls build. It was really, really OP. And I just, I guess I would have to see how strong the uh, virus is, because that was stupid broken as well. You just kind of throw it on people and walk away and everyone dies. I've never done a melee playthrough, which would be interesting. But I think I'm almost, almost at the point of playing it. What'd you eat for breakfast, though? Now you got me curious. I had like french fries for dinner. It's terrible dinner. Wife got home really, really late from work. And the baby was being crazy, but it was just super quick. Throw things together. I think if we can get shields. On that mining ship, I can send it out, and then I don't have to worry about resources at work again. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I'm trying to be safe with the baby. But all that being said, I live very rural. I don't see many people. And most of the people we see are very old. DoorDash. Oh, there is not a single place that delivers to my house. We live rural. We're in the middle of fucking woods. I got no neighbors. I couldn't get an Uber. I probably couldn't get a taxi. I can't get DoorDash. There isn't even like a pizza shop that delivers here. Uh, we have just a country store, a gun store. And like uh, a hunting, a trading hunting post. We've got that in the town. Those are our three stores. <laughs> There's, there ain't nothing out here. No fucking nowhere. Man, if we had delivery. One, we would spend way too much money. Like we did when we lived in Boston. Uh, all the delivery. All the time. Yeah, there's there's no delivery out here. Some people would call it God's country. And you hear different reasons for calling it that, but my favorite is because the only one out here to help you is uh, yourself, and then you let God figure it all out at the end, something like that. I don't know the actual saying. It's a terrible way to put it. Uh, bandits are attacking in a second. I'm hoping to get yeeted from existence. I'm trying to mine here. There, I did my part. My defensive forces do the rest.
I'll go back to mining in peace. I don't live like insanely rural though, like it's like a half hour. It's like 15 minutes to go to store, 15 minutes to hardware store. It's like half hour, 40 minutes to like Targets, Walmarts. Like there's way more remote places than where I live. But it's remote enough where there is no delivery. It's remote enough where I can see the galaxy band, the Milky Way band when I go outside and look up. It's remote enough where I can go outside and just shoot a shotgun off in, any, in almost any direction. I wouldn't shoot towards the house. Well, it's through the woods that way, but... Yep, yeah, not really. There's some. Like, it's not a complete dark zone. It's not like the Arctic wasteland of, like, northern Canada or the Arctic Circle, but it's pretty dark. Nice, nice. Like, Boston, a major city, is like an hour and a half, two hours away, so... Or two hours away. That's just highway straight there, but... Actually, it might even be a little bit... It might be two and a half, three hours away, actually. That's without traffic. I'm trying to remember if... I've had to have gone back to Boston since we lived there. Just can't remember for what or why I would. I'm pretty sure I have. Nope, we used to. I live north of that by one state. I live in the great state of New Hampshire. <laughs> what people call the, the south of the north. I used to live in Massachusetts. Grew up mostly in Massachusetts. Fan Massachusetts. From the, after like 1820, uh, we've lived in New Hampshire ever since. Well, that's not true. We lived in New Hampshire, then we lived in Boston for a year and a half. And then we went back up to New Hampshire. And then we went way farther north in New Hampshire. I need to stop mining and actually just go find a refinery place so I can send out my other ship on a mining expedition. Did they like one tap apart off my ship? What is the block I'm missing? Who knows? We'll never know. Where'd they pop it off? How'd they pop it off? You know, I mean, New Jersey's not famous for maple syrup. <laughs> but I think you know that. I think that's a joke. New Jersey is famous for like the Jersey Shore, isn't it? What the f is New Jersey actually famous for? We have a lot of family in New Jersey, and I'm trying to think of what the state is actually famous for. New Hampshire, Maine is maple syrup. Uh, the leaves fall, fall colors peeping. That's super well known. Mount Washington is New Hampshire. That's known for. Uh, other than that, I don't know. Lakes. We do have coastline. We got beaches and stuff as well. Moose. Kind of known for moose. Same with Maine, Vermont, moose.
or the granite state. We're known for granite if you're into masonry. <laughs> Trying to think of like a big exporter of New Jersey. It's like technically weapons, military stuff we produce a lot of here. Ship is just sitting on the back side of Nashville, are you for real? It's a good play on his part. They dropped some high end shit. Two rares out of that? Cool. Or two exotics, I should say. Jump drive capacitor. And that would be useful. 400% jump range. Alright. Enough of this mining. Get out of here. Don't hit any rocks. Don't hit any rocks. Come on. Best navigate ever. Uh, my only other playthrough on Cyberpunk was a uh, 20 body, 20 tech, 20 reflexes, 12 smart build. I'm playing too much Eldering Ring. Eldering Ring was a good game. Damn good game. I've never beaten Cyberpunk. I burnt myself out on guides and never actually beat it. It's like the third or fourth game I've went all in on. And um, basically the devs just fucked us by promising a bunch of the game being shit. Um, yeah. And like I burn out because population dies off and like it's not worth. Like, I just feel bad that I made that many. I'm glad people enjoy the guides. They're useful, but it's like they put that much time and effort hoping there's longevity to the game. And I'm very thankful that they fixed it because those videos still get some views. I need to wait for energy to recharge. We're just sitting here sputtering out in the warp drive category. Adding that giant cargo hold to the bottom of this ship. Really just... Ugh. Yeah, it's just like I spent so much time and effort and like it just the the player base just tanks off and it's like, OK, so much for trying to build a channel or something out of a game, you know, what I mean? same with Starfield, it was supposed to be better than in Woods. Well, apparently there ain't nothing here either. I'm this is a very dangerous game. I keep going deeper and deeper and deeper without upgrading my ship. I die. Terrible, terrible deaths. And on insane difficulty, there is no... Uh, when your ship blows up, everything equipped to it, every part of it is just gone. Heated from existence. Still no refinery, right? Damn. Come on, people. Yeah, I played both of them. I liked it. Um, couldn't tell you why I didn't do guides on any of them. In all honesty, just didn't. 
Yeah, and I also don't super enjoy making guides. I enjoy parts of it, but like in general, it's some of my least favorite content to make. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> Another ring is amazing. I think even the devs have been like, I don't know why it's doing so well or why it did so well. It's like the same formula they've always used. The game just took off compared to some of the other games like Dark Souls and stuff. It's like Dark Souls, you don't think of being a small game because it's not really. But like as far as sales go and stuff, it's not like a huge, insane success. A few games coming out this year I'm excited for. It'll be fun. Can't think of any like blockbuster, like take over the world games that you could build like a longevity channel off of, but. I'm really looking forward to Homeworld 3, but I just have a thing with Homeworld, so I've always loved Homeworld ever since I was a kid. GTA 6, haven't even watched the trailer. The game's dead to me. Because it's not coming out for PC, they're doing the whole like year or two thing before PC. So it's like it's dead to me until then. So I haven't even watched that. What are the two games I'm looking forward to most? I should know that off the top of my head. But like I don't even know what's coming out. 2024. I know Homeworld 3 is. Um, I know there's a few other games that I just can't remember off the top of my head. Like, I had a problem when I was a young adult and a teenager where I would get so excited for games that I, like, would have a hard time sleeping. I couldn't do anything but think about it. Like, a week before it, I might sleep, like, an hour or two a night, if that, and it would, like, ruin launches. And, like, I would try and watch every video about it, and, like, it was a shitty experience. So, like, I've just stopped. I'll, like, watch a trailer, go, yep, I want to try that. And then that's that. Just, I'm done and I wait for it to come out. I still do get kind of excited. Helldivers 2 in February, I like, I'm excited for. I like the first one, it's a fun little co-op game. Skull and Bones, I've played like 16 of the freaking closed betas and the game is like meh to me. Uh, a lot of my friends just got into the most recent closed beta for Skull and Bones, and they played together, and I didn't get a chance to because I was busy with family and baby. Uh, and they said it was really, really fun playing together. So I want to try playing with friends. Um, but we also have a pirate-themed Discord and all that stuff, so Skull and Bones is kind of down that way. Last Epoch! Um, this is a good game. Played a lot of it already. Uh, kind of looking forward to that one. Star Wars game may be okay. Homeworld 3 in March is super far up there. Dragon's Dogma is also in March. Uh, I really like the first Dragon Dogma. If they could do really good with that one, that would be amazing. Um, there's no reason I don't just have this over here. Don't know Never Dark. Don't know a lot of these games. Warhammer Space Marine looks really freaking cool and good, but I just don't know if it's going to be good. I have like 5,000 hours in the first one of this. I just don't think I could ever do it again. Arcade. <laughs> There's another Earth Defense Force, the walls. Um, just quick scanning. What are two games you're excited for? I'm surprised there's nothing really in January that I remember the name of. But I take like screenshots of a bunch of things on my phone and then I scroll through them later. They could push so many articles that look interesting. I bet there's a lot of people happy about Persona 3 because there's some super fanatics about Persona. 
Hey, right as I mention it, you type it in chat, lols. <laughs> oh, there's an Elden Ring DLC. Nice. It's supposed to be really good ARPG, and I've enjoyed it so far. I just can't get into Destiny 2 anymore. It's just dead to me. What is this Dark Forces remastered for? It's a really old Star Wars game. <laughs> this I'm just super excited for. Yeah. I kind of want to play Ready or Not too. I've bought it and then refunded it and bought it and then refunded it, I think. When it was in early access, but like, I really loved the old SWAT games and stuff. I just don't have that group of people I play with anymore. I'm not surprised at all it got Game of the Year. Um, it was just clearer and far the best game that came out, I think. Um, the love, the craft, the, the time they put into it, it's all just fantastic. Um, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but like... Divinity and Divinity 2 are fucking amazing games as well. And for that same studio to take that magic and throw it into the D&D world at this is just a perfect storm because how popular D&D is now and stuff. It was just executed so well. There's some dumb amount like I'm trying to think of there's some really stupid statistic of how many cutscenes are in that game. Um, Boulder Skate 3 cutscene run. Yeah, it's 174 hours of cutscenes in Boulder's Gate 3. 174 hours. That's longer. That's like twice the, that's more than twice the length of all of Game of Thrones. Like that's absurd. 174 hours of cutscenes. And like, I heard that uh, even before it came out, they were like, it would take you, like no one is probably ever gonna see all of that. And it's like, how many games give you choices, but false choices that don't really change anything or show you anything new? And then Boulder Skate 3 was like, hmm, hold my beer and just fucking made it so every decision you make could actually kind of change future cutscenes. They're probably like super minor differences in cutscenes. They're still counting them, but like still, I want took the time to code 174 hours of cutscenes. And only like, does it deserve game of the year? Yes. But it's one of the few games nowadays that you can tell they actually played it and they loved it. Like, it's so rare nowadays. There's so many just half ass shitty devs and, and bad schooling practices and just bad everything. It's just amazing. And the fact that they like did that through COVID and survived COVID and and didn't have the huge blunders and failure, like their leadership was fantastic. Reminds me of games of old where they were labors of love. Find rare resources all will walk out of here with 47,000, 37 and 10,000. That's really, really good. Now about me upgrade the ship quite a bit. And it'll allow me to put shields on my other ship.
and like there were people that were kind of salty that like starfield didn't get nominated for game of the year and other shit and i was like mm. <laughs> all faith in bethesda is gone and there's like people that are still hyped about uh like fallout 4 or 5 and elder scroll 6 5 whatever it is and i have no faith zero faith I think they need to hand off that piece to a company that would actually do well with it and actually love it. Take all. Alan Wake 2. Alan Wake is that game that came out in like the 90s, right? Or early 2000s. I and mean, you ran around with the double pistols and you used to dive and use bullet time, right? It's 2010 for Alan Wake. What am I thinking of then? That's not Alan Wake. Max Payne is what I was thinking of. I got you. Yep. I never played them. I honestly don't play many horror games or supernatural stuff i've never even really heard much of it but i was thinking of max Payne. um like i've played metro and stuff so like i'm not against supernatural games and everything they just never really come down my pipeline i don't really hear much of them oh stalker 2 stalker 2 i am super fucking hyped about um on that whole supernatural kind of monsters ish thing post apocalyptic i think i've seen people playing alan wake too just like the resident evil games and everything like that i never just never really got into never really my thing um yeah i played stalker gamma for like a few hours off stream i tried to stream it but i could not i spent like probably 20 to 30 hours trying to get that game to cooperate with my PC and the streaming setup because I've had some really long term fans of the channel like very long term that have wanted me to play it and it's the same people that wanted me to play Metro and I loved Metro and uh, like I see Devil Dog Gamer and other people play it and it, it was really fun the few hours I played off stream I just I couldn't get it to function Hey, how's it going? Going good. Baby's been a whole lot of work. Kind of burnt out on Starfield as well. And just been super busy. Prepping for winter, doing winter stuff. We're not locked up, are we? Sometimes the stream locks up after I'll tab in now this game. What are we doing? We're supposed to be swapping to minor one, throwing a shield mod on it, I think. And um, yeah seeing what that does to its survivability and its threat of being ambushed while out on a mission. What are its turret slots? I have a whole bunch more unarmed turrets. I also have a bunch of defensive turrets. I should probably throw a few defensive turrets on it. have one of those flat cannon point defense laser uh, all blocks I just want to see
Oh. I know what I fucked up. Okay. That makes more sense. When I converted this, I converted it in a weird ass way, and I'm paying for that now. So let's delete all these off here. Let's do this the proper way. Build, saved, by design. Now let's throw these turrets back up here. Range by DPS per slot. Because you're literally just a stat stick ship. First, we need all the R miners. Okay, our miners are on this thing. Nice kids are a lot of work, but I miss it too when I'm working on my draft car. Having a break to watch some shows, getting a bit into doing watch a car build soon, just looking at the moment. Oh, nice. That'd be crazy. They probably make decent drift cars, except for like the runtime would probably be really low. They're very heavy. We fucking demolish tires. Probably a terrible drift car, actually. The tires are quite expensive too on them because they're so heavy. They are an absolute shit ton of work, especially in the baby phase. It's just one minute, they're great. The next minute, the world has ended. And it's your fault. <laughs> But that's just how it kind of be. <laughs> Have a Nissan blooper with the full angle kit and supercharge mode. Nice. That would do it. Okay, so your stats sticked out. Now I just need to probably remove this. Yeah, I don't care if it gets blown up. Install permanently. You are now the toughest ship in our entire fleet. I'm single, happened my whole life, don't really grow up. Kids are a responsibility for adults. It's true. Yeah, I play video games all day, every day. I'm not growing up. Terrible, irresponsible human being. But my wife is a productive member of society, so that works. I know how to cook, I know how to make her laugh. And then I guess I know how to frustrate her too. <laughs> That's how it works. Um we need crew desperately. But baby's four months old now. So it goes by. Like, it feels slow during because of how crazy it is, but like, can't believe it's already been four months, you know? Third game. I don't think I have enough crew space for this many crew members. build. Also, I haven't checked the integrity field generator in a hot minute. Is this still big enough to cover the whole ship? Look, it is just barely, though. Bleach you. Whoops. 
Steel, titanium, crew quarters. I don't need plus 28. That's all we need. Shrink it down. It's dirty, but it gets the fucking job done. So I actually take the time to build a real ship. Sure. Let's pretend that covers that all the way. I have two kids. They are 12 and 14, but they live with mom. So I have a lot of free time for motorbikes and fast cars, gaming and dogs. Yep. I'm a dog owner and play games almost all day. I got two dogs, too. It's another add to the whole ridiculous amount of shit going on. Um, energy's regenerating insanely slow. Uh, does this shield mod I put on this thing use, like, an insane amount of power, and that's why it's super overpowered, and I didn't think about that when I built my ship? What am I trying to do? Uses five gigawatts. Versus megawatts, gigawatts. Okay, yeah, we're 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 just Some choices were made. And those choices might have not made in the smartest one. It cost me a hundred fucking grand to throw this on here, and why can't I throw it on? Is you're in the way? Yeah. Okay. We fucked up. We fucked up. Well, I guess that means we're doing some stupid shit. Solar panels. That's not going to get me anywhere, game. Captain, they're not big enough. Oh, I'll show you big. They're going to cost me $89,000 to throw these things on here. To still not be enough. Oh, we fucked up. Um... There's a way to power things off, I think. Apparently we can't disable that. What chat did I miss? Uh, good move. And who grows up? Shh, I'm dog lover. Yeah, I know you run the dog rescue. It's absolutely amazing. Shh, shh, shh. That would be fun. show you big except for I still not even anywhere near enough power uh, I mean if I turn off flight assists we're green across the board and this shit show becomes super shit show there's no flight assist is really fucking rough I need to get up over this asteroid enough power we got no flight assist. We'll be fine. Everything's great. I got the sticks are in my hand. It's not as big as it should be, but it's in my hand. The stick. Um. Just enough power. Okay. 
There should be a shipyard here, which will let me add bigger generators to this thing. Well, lessons are learned. It's an important lesson because we were going to do this to my other ship anyways. Okay. We're set up. Armor. Armor. I think that's fully encased on the stat stick. I'm just trying to be able to send this thing off on missions. Turn on flight control, so that would be great. Uh, we're still green across the board, okay. Yeah, but it's doing well as well. I'm trying to remember the type of dogs you tend to take care of. Was it boxers, pits? Sort of something not small. Or do you just take all dogs? I can't remember, where's the German Shepherds? Let's go mine some asteroids. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to get the ship to be able to do and not just have a chance of exploding and dying horrifically. Um... But I'm just trying to get this thing to go off on its own in mine. 15% chance in 4.5 hours and it'll bring back 300k, 360k. It's not like great. But it's the best I'm gonna get. Unless I manually fly this thing a little bit out here. really good. Do you have a specific type of dog you focus on? It's actually funny because I was thinking of like long-term goals I would love to have would be to open a dog rescue. Like if I could ever grow the channel enough to just have extra income. Nice. Do you deal with like high-risk dogs and stuff or do you try and stick to the more friendly puppies? Oh, that's an asteroid. Dink. Overrated. Front of the ship. Who needs that ship? We got bumpers. I got old bumpers. Freaking Helmsman, man. Please jump before we hit this fucking asteroid. Damn it. You know the last chance high risk guy? Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I have had some high risk dogs. Uh, one in particular was. We kept him until he died of old age, but like, ooh. He was a plot hound. And my friends would play the game of can we get in the house and over the gate before I get mauled by a dog? My mother is covered in arm scars from it. I have a scar all the way up my hand from when I ripped my hand open because I walked past a chair and it was displeased with my existence. And the chair was the same exact color as the dog in the dark. It's hilarious. Sometimes chairs would just growl at you and you're like, ah, hey, there you are. I'll get all the character in the world. Love that dog, but. 61, 66, 57, 62. I'm trying to look for this number to be as high as possible. Looks like 66 is what we're going to get. Now we bring back 400, 400 with 15% chance to getting ambushed. Um, send things directly to my inventory and let's start. It. That ship is now just mine. Switch back to my actual ship the two dogs i have now are male uh the 100 pound great pyrenees we've challenged each other a few times he's, he's challenged he learned quickly that that's not acceptable 
It's still got its balls, though. And if he keeps it up, then no. Yep. The other dog was in a kill shower, shil kill shelter, and was like an hour away from like the end before he got rescued from down south and brought up here, and then we picked him up. We had him for a while. No one wanted him. Uh, he has zero fucking chill when it comes to new people, new dogs, or just like out and about. But like in your house, on your property, he's super chill. Like he's well trained, well behaved dog, amazing dog, off leash dog. And it's not even like he attacks. It's just infinite amount of energy when anything new is happening or a new person. So it's just really hard to take him anywhere, do anything with him. Uh, when people come over, we gotta kind of like hold him back. Even though he's super friendly and he sounds like he wants to maul and murder people, but all he wants to do is lick love and have fun. And that's not how you make friends. Not how you make friends. He was the dog I got after the problem dog that would attack me and my mother that I grew up with and like shh. like we were rescuing him and she was trying to walk him and we showed up a little earlier and we saw him being buku crazy excited and like the whole time we're there just buku insane crazy uncontrollable dog and she was like surprised we still wanted him. <laughs> it's like, this is all friendly behavior. I can work with this. <laughs> Trust me, my previous dog would just eat people. <laughs> Happy energetic dog, I'm okay with. Um, where do I want to go? I need an equipment station. Yeah, ours never became the friendliest dog. The plot hound, Buddy. That was the worst name too. His name was Buddy. Loved his runs and his walks more than anything in the universe. Loved being in the woods as a hound. Um, but like, you'd be walking and like we lived in a city and we'd be walking and like, I don't know how many times I have to tell people my dog is not motherfucking friendly and they still try and touch the damn thing. I'm like, you're going to get your ass ripped apart. You know what I mean? Like, not friendly means not friendly. The marauders are attacking this place. Oh, I mean, I guess I'll sit around for some loot. I mean, that is a lot of marauders. But I think the marauders are getting yeeted from existence. He's like the most handsome dog fucking ever to use. Freaking gorgeous. His brindle coloring, like perfect dimensions. Everything about him was amazing. Um, it'd run like 20 miles an hour for like an hour. Just freaking loved it. Um, but like, yeah, I don't want to tell you my dog's not friendly. Like, don't touch it. But he was a stray. He was abused, like all the bad stuff. Like not a human dog. He was a stray for quite a while, I believe. There was no real super fix in it. Just all the personality, all the character. We at least taught him to, that's your space, we won't go in your space. It's also fun, like, after you have dogs like that or experiences like that. You're not really afraid of dogs. Like, I've fought that dog, I don't know, 20, 30 times in its freaking life. And it's like, I just learned how to control their mouth, control their paws, pin them. Wait for them to calm down and chill the fuck out. And um, we can just be friends again. Like, I get it. It was like, we don't need to lock doors or do anything. And we lived on a 
busy sidewalk we had a huge tall fence and like he could jump almost where he could get his head over the edge of it and anyone that came by just fucking losing it would scare the shit out of people <laughs> that's hilarious there with the 100 pound gray purity so like he showed his teeth to me and we've had some scuffles since he's trying to figure his life out as a 100 pound guard dog so, like if he ever does this to my wife she just backs down she's scared of him sometimes but i'm like hell no not happening but we've worked through it this is a good boy he has no real trauma just from a bad breeder down south where she shot the mother in front of people and the people just took all the puppies and called the cops then now i have a purebred great pyrenees rescue that i have all the paperwork for which is just weird never had a rescue that i just knew their birthday exactly how old they are all that shit It's also probably the youngest dog I've ever had from a rescue. He's like slightly under a year old. When we got him. Proper puppy. Um. That's what we were told. Don't know how much of it's true, how much of it's not true. But still, either way, we have all this paperwork. So I'm inclined to believe it's true. Why is this gate red? Does this mean I'm going to hostile territory? Am I about to just instantaneously explode? No. It's another just super heavy mining system now. I just wasn't going to make this jump manually. We are just searching for a place to build this ship out. Do 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 do. I know nothing about the other dog. Based on his training when we got him and his love for humans and affection and love for cuddling, I assume he came from a home that loved him. Maybe an old lady or something, I don't know. Or just the energy was too much and they couldn't handle it. Um, part that kind of confuses me is the Great Pyrenees is supposedly from a breeder that would breed working dogs and like they lived in barns, they were raised on farms, like that's what she does. Like he knows doorbells, he knows other things that like, why does he know that? It's a farm dog. It's not like we have doorbells in the fucking middle of nowhere. The glass front door when people just knock. Um, which is weird. But like he'll hear the doorbells on TV and stuff. And he wasn't even like at any rescues for a long time. Like he got rescued from whatever happened down there, immediately brought up to New Hampshire. Then on him, before he was even there, the lady made posts about him and we cheated because it's the same breeder or it's the same rescue person we got uh, our other dog from, Max, and it was his one year gotcha date. 
so we sent her like an email updating her because she likes getting those every year with some pictures of all of our dogs and we tacked on to it that we would also be interested in the great pyrenees that's coming up so we skipped the line which like even like three months after we adopted her she was still getting people wanting a great pyrenees up here but yeah So like he spent like a day and a half, two days there, I think if that, before we came and got him. Uh, Cause we even temporarily housed him while she was waiting for the appointments and paperwork and stuff to come through. So like just, I mean the long story is she almost didn't let us keep him cause we had to bring Max to introduce them to each other. And Max has no fucking chill. It's so like we get there and she's like, you haven't even trained Max in basic obedience, like sit, stay, nothing. He has no chill. Um, but like I did all my research on Great Pyrenees beforehand. Like I do so much more about the dog breed than she did. And I was explaining things to them about him. And uh, I was like, look, I'm a YouTuber. I'm a live streamer. I could stream or take as many videos as you want of the two interacting with each other at our house. Um, this is proof we have of Max being obediently trained. He's just, I mean, you gave him to us. You know what he's like. And, uh, beg, plead, steal. Uh, talked about how I already had the house set up with separated in two so they each had their own space. Uh, they could see each other through the gate system but not actually interact with each other for introduction properties all other shit. So she let us temporarily house him for like a day or two. And then she saw all the videos and everything together and was like, ah, oh, yeah, they're fine at your house and you can keep them. So. What a shit show. This is like, yes, both our dogs are properly trained. They don't eat things off the counter. We can drop like a steak on the floor and they just look at us waiting for commands if they can have it or not. They are off leash puppies. Their recall is amazing. Like. I'll try and puppies. They don't get human food, which a lot of people don't like. A lot of people spoil their dogs, but like when you have a hundred pound, 36 inch tall Great Pyrenees that can put his head on the counter, he doesn't need to know that a turkey could be his. So like they even know sniffs only and stuff like we'll hold out something to him. Say sniffs only. They smell it and they never go after it again. So we've done that with like all the baby's toys, all the baby stuff. They don't chew her stuffed animals. They don't chew her toys on the ground. I just want to build a ship. I want to build this out. Cargo hold exists. Tempted to just eat this whole ship out of existence. But like, do I really want to take on that endeavor right now? And it's like, what pattern do I want for a ship? Catastrophic failure sounds. I don't know what that was about. Slightly alarming. I think it was the shields coming offline. I would have guessed. What do I need to do? I have the most titanium. I want to build this ship so the freaking 
mirrors are just in the right spot by default. I get to this spot. So I think that's the technical center. Talking about a game you're playing or the one I'm playing? One one turn off the mirrors. This is the point in the game where I always go so overkill. And I can never actually build what's in my mind because I do like stupidly huge shit. Just because I want to do like a one and done kind of situation. Oh, uh, yeah. Definitely heard worse. Okay, so we turn off mirrors. So we have five by five cubes. to pack up my PS4 and give it to my dad. I was too addicted to Elden Ring. Jeez Louise. It's valid, though. It's a really good game. Plenty of room for expansion, they say. What could go wrong, they say? Crazy shapes in this game make ships that are insanely hard to round off and finish up. Keep like knocking over shit at my feet. The garage leaks and the carpet's soaking wet, so I'm trying to dry it. But that's a failed endeavor in its its own right. Um, I don't want a flying brick. I always make flying bricks. Bricks are just so good. I was never gonna build a spaceship and be like a flying sphere or a flying brick. Um. But the more crazy you get, the more crazy everything else gets. I really wish I s thought about this game when I reinstalled Windows. I, apparently this game doesn't cloud save. And I've spent a good chunk of time customizing some ships in this game. And I lost all of it. I could have had some really sick pre-made ships. Um... Is there a point?
So the hard part about using such huge block grids is then like to easily fill this space. I need to use armor blocks as huge. Like I would have to do like some of this shit. This is so much armor. It is not realistic to do. Just the problem with this game. Will be so much HP, it is insane. Are you kidding me? I screwed up every single block. When did you change size? Son of a bitch. You're supposed to be five by fives, and they're like. 5.6s and when did you grow in size? Completely phallic, it's not completely unphallic. afraid of. Can't. Okay, um. I figured a field generator needs to be more custom made. It can't just be a generic block. It's just how they are. So you barely cover the bottom. <laughs> Not building the Millennium Falcon, but <laughs> I do appreciate that. Integrity field generator will they take 93,000? This is what I mean, where I just go too big. Like, there isn't a chance in flying fuck that I could afford to make this ship. Uh, 
Oh, crap. Shrink you down some. Yes, I called it. This is the point in the game where I do this every single time. I just want to do a one and doneer. So I go fucking massive. Then that's not an option. So not having your integrity field generator centered is just nightmare claws. So that's how much you cover. I'll try and do the same pattern, but just different. field generators in there yeah the ring dlc shadow of the streamer for favorite times fingers crossed will come out soon yeah then you have to go get your playstation back i love building spaces i already have by like an hour hundred or a few hundred hours into armored core six i think could be wrong on the amount of hours but i have played it Bring you to a point. making this more complicated than I need to or should. enough for a bridge. Noise.
That's crazy. Um. Oh, how do I want to do this within these? I'm really just going to commit to this. This is so much armor. Rotating this the wrong way every single time. Controls in this game are so weird. It's all these bits that I'm not looking forward to rounding out. Definitely not no snap, so I guess none of those are going to function here. It's a super fucking weak spot. Hmm. That'll do it. I need to remember how to move the camera angle. Oh, 
was my favorite build? Fuck, what did I use? I'm a sucker for missiles, just because that's who I am as a human being. Yeah, just a lot of running around missiles. So many missiles. Um, man, I'm gonna have to do this for all of these, aren't I? What a pain in the butt. This is why I said shipbuilding this game gets complicated really, really quick. I also need to super remember how to uh, um, remove the camera. It's not a thing I have forgotten. Why won't you expand? Why can't I adjust your length or anything? What the fuck? There's a few times I had to rework my build in that game just because I was struggling quite hard on some bosses. But if I could, many hours of trying with just missiles. that weren't cheap. Hmm, did I do this all wrong? I did do it all wrong. I think I would know better after so many hours in this game. Yeah. You to go to there. The worst part about everything I'm doing is like I have to undo a lot of this shit. This is the way turrets work in the next tier. Or I have to build raised gun platforms, which are significantly weaker.
Do I just do this the lazy way in this corner? Just send it like that? I think we do. And if I was smart, I'd turn on another mirror so I don't have to do everything more than once. But here we are. Really, you're going to do that to me? Come on, game. Just let it happen. It's fine. It's not that much overlap. Throws off that corner, makes it look like shit. <laughs> Meh, they can smell grease all day every day. Who the hell gives a shit? We'll send it. Also, these ships are so big, like absolutely massive. I think that always depends on how much you're willing to pay for them. If you're willing to pay, you can always get whatever you darn want. So let me do this, but not this. Like what? I don't know any exploits in this game either to like force it to allow it to be a thing. Just off by a little bit down there. Fuck it. talk about armored core makes me wonder if i'm even thinking of the same game <laughs> yes i am okay about to say let's keep talking as a spaceships but it's giant robots um and i have like dementia basically it runs in my family it's only getting worse Really hoping that medical science does some breakthroughs before it's too late for me. It sucks. Like I watched my grandfather like one day, like he forgot how to open a car door, like he was struggling with it and stuff like that. And it's just rough. Also, I have a lot of head trauma from uh, extreme sports as a young adult. Which doesn't help the situation.
No, that's not the right piece. Do I want this one? Yes, that's what I wanted. Sometimes this breaks my brain. It's like, why can't I rotate this the right way? There we go. Um, So confused. I want the square end down, which is like this, but I want the corner in the other corner. Like that. Oh, it's not even no. It's not even sports. It's uh, well, I guess technically it's sports. Uh, it's skiing. It's skiing. Lots of head trauma from skiing. And train park stuff. I haven't skied in a, quite a few years. Wonder how natural it would be for me to pick it back up. Because I used to be very, very fucking good. Stop breaking my brain game. doesn't sit right sometimes like it feels weird but I learned it. I learned what my issue was The amount of unnecessary weight I have added to this ship is rather fearful. just be a boxy front bottom. I have plans for you anyways. I don't think I'm going to do those plans today, but I'll do the whole city lights thing, the little glow pods, the bridge lights. I'll do the fancy shit that you can do. I'll just give it a little bit more character. I mean, I played soccer growing up. Uh, I did baseball a little bit growing up. Uh, uh, but mostly it was just lots of winter sports. But lots of terrain park, lots of bashing my head. Just Also just countless other stupid things like... Um, uh, I don't know, like, skiing behind cars, uh, covering up the manholes in parking lots, and wakeboarding behind SUVs in parking lots, uh, just some stupid shit. Uh, longboarding and stuff down sand dunes, uh, or, uh, like, construction sites, just pure shenanigans. A 
like my young adult and teen years, I was always a gamer, like uh, lots of consoles uh, when I had friends over and stuff, but like for the most part, active outdoors and just doing lots of stupid stuff. I'm just lucky I'm not in jail. I got lucky on more than one occasion. And then I just got like hardcore addicted to video games and how do you show haunt keys, message scale, rotate camera, it's F, okay. So how do I focus on the block I have selected? Double square corner piece, that doesn't exist? That's because you just need to be one of those. Yeah, I've always grown up in New England, so like Massachusetts, New Hampshire. Oops, I forgot. So I've always had skiing as an option. I've been doing it since I was very young. And when I say like quite good, I'm talking like flow state was amazing. Um I made it look fucking easy. Uh forward, backwards, train park. Uh, half pipes, stuff like that. And like, I've gone skiing with my wife a bunch when we were younger and taught her. But then she seriously injured herself. Fully recovered, but like, she had to rebuild both her knees and stuff like that. Um, she still goes occasionally. I got kind of bored with it, like, I've done it all. From glades to powder to cliffs to as fast as you can possibly go. Um, like, my nieces and nephews have picked it up, and like, it's from her side of the family, and it's like, oh, on the way to Ski Mountain, I'm like, I'll race you guys, and I'll do it backwards, and they think I'm crazy, and then the next thing they know, they think I'm out of control and dying, but I'm just going full speed straight backwards. I love skiing. It's so much fun. Like, it got to a point where, like, I couldn't even get adrenaline out of it, like, no matter what I was doing. I got adrenaline junkie. So. But then I settled down, and, like, it's weird, because I miss it. I miss, like, 150 miles an hour down the highway weaving out of traffic. I miss other stupid stuff, but it's like, I have family now. Like, I've still got my motorcycles and stuff like that, but... Oops, I didn't mean to exit out of that. Oh, I just yeeted my entire fucking cargo hold everywhere. Because I exited out of this. This kind of reminds me of a stubby, weird-looking version of the, um... I don't know why, because it's not, but it reminds me of a Stargate Atlantis ship, or whatever it is. One of the Stargate ships. Even though this just looks ugly, don't like it all, but it's what we're rolling with for now. Um, fuck me. I need to do visualize only framework. Uh, we need to take you, probably you, cargo bay, transform. I've never, ever, ever been crazy on my motorcycle, really, uh, in a long time. It was never really my thing. Cars, whole nother story. Man, I learned to ski when I was like a fucking infant, toddler. I'm like, not, not quite that young, but like really young. And like, I would stop by just going as straight as I can and hitting something. It was the big beginning of my adventures. Uh, so yeah, it's no surprise that it turned out how it did. Top patrol, super fucking low. Um, that's rear, you're the most forward block. Transform you. Just pick a random ass block and make it a crew block. 
Yeah, 135 crew with just a singular block. That is effing crazy. Um, usually centered is generators. Let's do three. Might even go farther, actually. Let's do four. Five. Um... You need energy containers, energy containers. Um, shield generator. 28k. Acceleration is hot fucking garbage. Let's take these. Click titanium engines, transform. Hey, we don't have enough processing power. Cool. You kidding me? Oh, this ship is gonna be a fucking dog. Um, okay. What needs to happen then? We need to go to probably. Shields? Transform you back into titanium framework. Oh, what else do we absolutely have to have on this ship? Framework, we absolutely need inertial dampeners. Like, there's no tomorrow. They're non negotiable. But we need engines. Engines just have to happen. There's no. We're way too slow. Rollerblading's picking up kind of like everywhere, to be honest. That does kind of look like a time around shark. <laughs> um... We just I have to get engines. I there's no choice. So that's Mount Everest compared to my ship. Empire State Building compared to this ship. It's a pretty big ship. Leaning Tower of Pisa. Statue of Liberty. Ships are really big. Ah, uh, fuck me. Just the whole power just. Ugh. I did it again. I built too big of a ship for the point of the game I'm in.
I just don't even know what I can cut back on. Pitch up down is hot fucking garbage. You know, it might just have to be what it's going to be for now, and that's just what it is. Try to do some medium, some heavy, some lights, but whatever gave me the most missiles. Can I pick up all my loot that I didn't mean to eat everywhere? Please and thank you, game. She's not maneuverable. She's not fast. Inventory systems close you out. Oh, do we need 16 of you? So we need four more. I'm gonna need all the more gunners here. Just hire your entire staff. Just hire some miners to have it, and I'll hire some general population. Pick up my cargo, please, and thank you, game. Do I even have a cargo hold on this ship? Yeah, I built two. I mean, I know I just yeeted this stuff. So it usually takes, like, a few minutes. Oof, getting you guys to a full 200 is gonna be a situation. Fuck was that sound? I don't fucking knew. Okay, I'm picking up all my stuff, thank you. Hire crew. Um, just fucking take ten of you. Ten more of you, general crew. The ship's pay is gonna be expensive. Okay, it's two hundred. A thirty extra crew that I'm just paying for no reason. Auto assign. Is there no equipment bay here? Oh, son of a bitch, there's not. Oh, there is. see just how sluggish this thing is. You know, it's not that much slower than my previous shit. The acceleration is some now. <laughs> oh boy. It wouldn't want to drift for a minute. Okay. The, the DXL is a problem. Um. Hmm. We'll make it work.
We'll just make it work. We went from 25,000 hull to 100,000 hull. Saw you permanently. I think we're gonna make you out. Make you out. Do I put you in? You cause issues in the long run. But you're also 40 armed turret slots. So I have a mod that jacks them up. The amount of turrets. Fucking full send it, I guess. <laughs> no arbitrary turrets. What are you selling here? Ten minutes. You selling any of my preferred weapon type? Just have to check, because if they ever do come out as... Far mining cluster turrets? What? Guided missile... Mining turret. Cool. You're an SIRM, not what I'm actually looking for. You're not guided. You're way too expensive. But you are what I'm looking for. To a T. Okay. Not the greatest setup, but it's a setup nonetheless that I think I can work with. Placement doesn't really matter right now. <laughs> ah, fuck it, right? I'll send it. Guided Missile PDC Point Defense System. Like, what? It's kind of interesting that I can put it at an angle. 
don't know if that's good or bad. We'll see how it performs back there. DPS per slot. Um, wish I could put in a range. My entire ship is about long-range weapon trees, so... Time for giant fucking conids. Everywhere. Even if they're hot garbage compared to everything else I can put down. I want to delete you, and I think I want you up here. Um, even the rail guns are only sitting at like just not that long a range. <laughs> Tell you what, I'd slow my roll if I saw this thing coming. That is a lot of big old guns. snap to local snap let's wedge some of these little guys in and around some of these bigger weapons the Darth Vader would approve yeah probably would actually okay Assign you to two, make you auto, auto, two, auto, two, auto, one, 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 two, auto, two, auto, two, auto, two, auto, one, two, auto, two, auto, two, auto, keep the two, auto theme going. Absolute psycho bullshit. Attack target. Don't don't bump the station, please. Uh, I guess there's just like little things I could do to make this ship look even kind of better first things first tall ship goes black no color whole ship goes black um i should set up the turret platforms because man you can get some fucking sick looking it's like it's something I haven't talked about is you can actually Is there an example I could do? Like you can come in here 
And these are all workship turrets I'm subscribed to, so like I can make all my guns look like this thing or like this thing. Like, like you can build your own custom turrets that just keep the stats of the ones you put in them. And you can change the way they shoot and their effects and it just, you can make your ships look so effing cool. I just have been just throwing the default models down. But well, you need to set up like uh, turret housings and things of that nature. Um. So if I wanted to go test this behemoth out, the best location be here. If I died right now, I would set myself back to the fucking Stone Age. I mean, this ship is ugly as sin compared to some of the ones I've spent like 40, 50 hours building. I wish I still had them. Like, it hurts my soul a little bit that I lost them. That is what it is. All weapons and armed and engaged. I have no idea what level the mobs are out here. I took a wormhole to get here. The closer to the center you get, the more powerful things get. I could be jumping into instant deletion out here. If these ships are all covered in yellow or any other color other than green, I'm in trouble. Oh, this isn't even a combat place like I was hoping it was. This is just an asteroid field. Um. Is there a claimable here? This looks like a place that would have a claimable. Or at least show me the giant asteroids if they're not claimable. There's just really just a giant, non-huge asteroid field. Well, that's rare. Or I'm just blind and don't see them. Enter coordinates. On to the next place. Come on, pirates! Got a whole bunch of artillery cannons that are just looking for someone to punch in the face. Holy shit, the amount of energy it takes to jump this thing. Hey, it's these people. Um. We're just going to leave these Warshipper people alone. Still never quite figured out what to do with them. And they hit like Mack trucks. So enjoy your chanting. Enjoy your life. We're going to go about our day and uh, pretend you're not here. None of the pirates want anything to do with me. Send it. Well, that's a ship. Another wormhole. Damn it. I really want to know where you go, but I also want to fight. That's really hard to say what it'll be powered by. I mean, if we can get cold fusion to work, you're probably not too far off at some point for some period of time. But then it's also like, do we find another way? Do we find a way to pull energy out of the universe? Like there was research done lately that they literally pulled energy out of thin air. Um, and as that gets more and more worked on and defined, there could be better ways. And it determines like anti-gravity. How does that stuff work? Do you need that much power? What actually works? Um, so many options for future future. So wormhole took us 
here. It's cool and all, but I don't. I'm not in the mood to fully explore a whole new quadrant. This is an area of just all bright yellow things that could be encounters, which is what I want. I want to test my ship in combat. Even though I think it's going to have power management issues. I should just skip to yellow and try and sneak enough yellow mining in. Holy crap, how many places am I going to go? I have no combat. All I could find earlier was combat. Come around, engage. Oh, 41 second cooldown. Well, that ain't going to happen. That would be so much energy. I guess I could... whoops. Set these to m manually fire. It's impressive. Tell you what, if all that hits someone, it, it's gonna fucking hurt. Holy crap. I can't find a fight. The pirates are like, nah, we don't want nothing to do with this shit. Hard no. Lots of smuggling dens, though. It's good to know where they are, but not really useful, per se. Not even anywhere near enough power. I burnt way too much power. Ship is just too big. Even if I land into a fight I can't handle, I'm not going to have a runaway option because we have no power. Like this situation. This is a bad situation. This is death. Um, this is a faction base. This isn't like a, just an encounter. Which means these are like top tier defense ships that take no damage. Which is why I now have a 94 second cooldown. <laughs> oh crap. But luckily I have the mod on my ship that I have infinite velocity. As long as I can power the engines, so we can outrun pretty much anything and everything. This red zone is, is very dangerous till the very end game. Even then, it's still iffy at the best. I think I outrun them far enough. And combat just dropped out, so we're at six seconds. Sweet. 
Can I go find like an actual encounter? Not faction base. Like they own swaths of space and like when you attack their stations and stuff like more people show up it gets real aggressive real quick and all my lanta i mean at the rate of lack of pirates out here this would be an absolutely amazing place to send now oh, my mining ship to mine Okay, let's check you out. You know, like they're part of modern warfare to some extent, but like you would know the enemy's capabilities before you go into combat with them per se, unless we're talking like Star Trek shit. And you would build the systems and programs to bake their break their defense at your capital not on the ship actively and then it's like how much does ai kick into play because like no humans can out hack an ai um if it's just a battle of whose ai is better to run try and countermeasures and stuff like that like it's just not That's a whole messy situation we're getting into just in general. As soon as it's it's always been for many years who has the better computer. Then you can get better encryption. So that's why supercomputers and all that stuff are so important and then you're kinda of like the atomic computer. Where you store everything on atoms. Those are gonna be insanely powerful computers. Be crazy. Oh, we're destined to never, ever, ever. There's wreckage up here. And the traveler stash. There's also a claimable asteroid. There's also a bajillion asteroids here. Bounce off it. Think. Twelve thousand rep, sure. Oh, where's this beacon? Whoa, 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 what the fuck are you doing, shit? What the fuck? Well, there goes 17,000 standing with them for some fucking weird ass reason. Ship just decided to lose its mind. Yep, someone failed in that faction rep. So I'll take their money and run since we just shot the freaking shit out of them.
like are they considered hostile to me like why would the ai just open up that's crazy so why you turn your weapons off kids Open the traveler stash. Auto turret control and a fine laser beam. Take number 374. Finding a combat encounter now that we've upgraded our ship. It's kind of crazy. I don't know the last time I've gotten this many jumps without some sort of engagement. Holy crap, another asteroid belt. They wrecked station. One of these. It's got to be a combat engagement. I don't think I have enough power saved up. Gonna bounce. Ooh, just missed that asteroid. Ooh, I was like, are we going to be just shy on power? Nope. You have got to be shit on the... For more than one reason. This is an insanely dense... Asteroid belt. But also, this is the most minerals I think I've ever seen in density of an asteroid belt. That is pure insanity. Just giant, 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 three giant asteroids surrounding each other. That is, this is I'm over 500 hours and I have never I could set my mining ship here just to go. Like, I, forever. What the fuck? That's, that's insane. Well, I'll be back for this spot in a giant mining ship. I'm gonna put mining lasers all over that thing and just burn everything, whole place. Not right now. I want a combat engagement. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, we found more pirate territory. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. We don't want to be here. Why is there norm, no normal encounters? Why is it all like the faction? It's not even a faction, because like the pirates are a faction themselves, but this is like an empire. Just keep going. Get up to like six, seven, seven thousand meters a second. It's like Mach. Like a thousand is Mach three. So yeah. Right now I'm doing like Mach fifteen. Holland balls. I get far enough away from them to drop combat and stuff so the timer can go away. There we 
we go. Down to 10 seconds. Face the jump out point and engage. Hey, a normal pirate encounter. What is this? Got him. Got him. have to kite everything. I actually just set you to auto fire. I don't have to worry about targeting you. Spread damage too much is the question. You shoot missiles on me, I shoot missiles back. normal Oof, even more of them hard break Got them all. Is there a claimable here? Saw the giant titanium. I'd say the ship works. Not great. Not the most functional thing I've ever made. That's for darn sure, but. Good enough. Is this a double large greens right next to each other? Holy crap. I don't think I have any R miners left. I put them all on my other ship, so there's just nothing I can do. Okay, but on that note, I'm gonna head out. Sorry, 1230. I appreciate you stopping my talking, everyone. Justin, Don, it's really nice seeing you all. And uh, I will see all of you in the next one. Dig fig. Next. Bye, everyone. Have a good one. Uh, hope you get some good lunch. You had a good breakfast. It's random ranting here. I'll see you. Bye.
I do such like sudden outros where it's hard because I know there's a lag in chat. So I just take some time to get the goodbyes out before I close down the stream. So I give it a second. Yeah, I'll see you.